In Zimbabwe, thousands of ZANU-PF loyalists have gathered for the party's key congress. President Robert Mugabe has officially opened the party's sixth congress. Party Vice President Joyce Mujuru has not turned up for the congress for two days in a row. Also notably absent is the party's secretary for administration, Didymus Mutasa. The gathering comes after weeks of purging of senior party officials perceived to be loyal to Mujuru. President Robert Mugabe has recently accused Mujuru and her allies of plotting to topple him. His wife Grace has also repeatedly criticized Mujuru on issues ranging from dress sense to politics. Grace Mugabe has unveiled herself, uh, availed herself for deputy president of the party, a move that will see her succeed Mugabe as president of the country. Mugabe has ruled the party for close to 40 years now. He's expected to announce his appointments of two vice presidents and party chairman on Saturday. Joining us from Harare, Zimbabwe, is our reporter Shingai Nyoga, who will unpack the latest on the ZANU-PF Congress. Shingai, very good afternoon to you now. The Congress has been officially opened today, and more focus appears to be around the selection of top party leadership by President Robert Mugabe and to tighten his grip on power at a Congress. How is the mood like today? Well, um, there was really scenes of jubilation and celebration at the um, opening of the United Congress this morning. Uh, many of the party supporters in regalia um, chanting songs in support of President Robert Mugabe as well as the First Lady um, and several slogans denouncing uh, Vice President Mujuru and people who they say are trying to unseat uh, President Mugabe. So essentially what we've seen today is um, that many of the uh, people that are perceived to be allies of Mujuru, including Mujuru herself, uh, did not turn up. Uh, President Mugabe did address this issue in his opening address to the Congress, saying that it's not that they told her to stay away, uh, but that she did so um, on her own free will because of her actions. Um, and so really, this, um, despite all the turbulence in the run-up to this Congress, um, it's turned out to be quite muted, um, quite celebratory, uh, with a focus really on um, cleaning up the party and the way forward um, in light of the number of top officials um, that have been purged from the party. Look, Shingai, yesterday we spoke about the allegations leveled against Vice President Joyce Mujuru and her certain attempts to unseat the president using the opposition and Western influence, etc. Any latest developments there? And also the new reports also indicate that she was actually told not to come to the Congress. Please unpack this for us. Well, President Mugabe denies that she was told to stay away. Um, and in fact, if you looked at the seating on the top table, um, there was a vacant seat that he said had been uh, reserved for her and that she was quite welcome to come. Uh, but when we spoke to the Youth League yesterday, they were quite adamant that they would not, um, that they would bar and in fact eject uh, Mujura as well as uh, any of the people who um, are said to have tried to topple uh, President Robert Mugabe, that they were going to bar them from entering uh, the premises. And so really the message was very much loud and clear uh, to Joyce Mujuri that she, it would be a very tense uh, stand-up if she did decide to attend. Uh, but on the issue of the allegations against her, it really hasn't moved beyond uh, political accusations. There's no indication that the police is investigating um, anything of the sort um, as, as, as serious as um, planning to topple the president or treason. Uh, so at this stage, it appears that it's... Um, political, and we'll see after the Congress uh, whether the newspapers or whether the police indeed uh, follow through with this, or whether it will just end um, at the Congress uh, with the um, demotion and ejection of Joyce Majuro. All right, and in your view, is there likely to be more tensions if the Vice President does show up at the Congress, Shingai? It's unlikely that she will. Um, many of the people that had been um, passed, had had votes of no confidence passed on them, that were perceived to be allies to Majuri. Some of them were at the event. Uh, some of them stood up to speak. And there really there wasn't any um, kind of tension against those particular people. So it's just clear um, that the target um, for this particular campaign for this uh, was um, Joyce Majuri as well as the Secretary General, Dr. Matsutasa. Shanghai, thank you for that. That's SABC reporter in Zimbabwe talking to us about developments surrounding the ZANU-PF Congress, which is currently underway in Harare.